Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to our channel. I am Rofia Sin. In this video, we will perform search operation on uh, roles data grid view. In the previous video, we have loaded these roles from database and display displaying in this data grid view. Uh, so let's start for performing search operation. So I'll go to tools and I'll select and label. Double click on this one and select and text box. Double click on this one and select and button over here and double click okay so we have these three controls in this form so i'll copy all of these and go to properties to change some properties font i'll change font property font size to 12 and after this i'll align this one and i'll change search by role title okay and then i'll change this one to a little bit bigger I'll set it as search and I'll also place uh, an image into this uh, button so I'll click on image property and I'll import this image from my library and this is not looking good i'll go to text image relation and set it as image before text done okay and another thing i'll doing uh, i'll also change the f uh, background color of this uh, but uh, first change flat appearance to flat and it's looking better done so i right click properties and change search text box change the name of this text box and set the name of this button as search but okay so i'll double click on this one if first i'll check something exists in the search text box or not if search text box dot text not equals to string dot empty if something exists in this text box then do this one i'll create again using sql connection cun equals to new sql connection and then app connection dot get connection string and after this i'll create using sql command cmd equals to new sql command and over here I'll specify my stroke procedure and then connection object so now we'll create co connection of uh, stroke procedure look at this we are passing a role title as a parameter to the database and then database will return uh, record that will be displayed in this data grid view in the previous video we have uh, created this stroke procedure which is displaying uh, fetching data from database and displaying in this uh, data grid view i'll be using this store procedure so i'll copy and i'll right click on store procedure new store procedure control a remove all of this one then create procedure usp roles and name of store procedure search by title and then we need one parameter role title which we'll specify from front and then i'll select as begin and end and i'll paste it over here so we will pass role title as a parameter from our front end application data type and watch or 50 okay so if you select all uh, roles 
you can see uh, all of all are displayed but we will want to specify only select uh, those role which title is this one so we'll specify a where condition over here where role title the name of column is equals to this parameter click on execute button over here and copy this one search by title and remember we are passing role title as an parameter so click on search button paste store process name over here and then i'll specify cmd dot command type equals to command type dot store procedure and after this i'll passing parameter cmd dot parameters dot add with value and if you remember we have this role title as a parameter and its value will come from this text box title sorry search text box dot text dot trim okay and after this i'll check for my connection if con dot state not equals to connection state if my connection is not already opened then please go and open my connection okay after opening connection i'll forget to add a semicolon over here and then i'll create a data table as we did in our previous video data table dt role equals to new data table and then i'll create an sql sql data reader sdr equals to cmd dot execute reader for fetching data from sql database and store in this sql reader and after this i'll call my role table to load data from this data reader once data is loaded into data table we'll simply assign this data to the data grid view so roles data grid view dot data source equals to dt role simple as that and if uh, the record doesn't exist we should also handle the scenario so instead of directly assigning data to our data table we'll have to set if str dot has rows if this data reader has rows then do this stuff otherwise go ahead and display the information to the user message box dot show no matching role is found and i'll specify as no record caption and then message box button start ok and message box icon dot information ok so this is our code let's start your application and make sure it is working or not let's say i wanna search power user look at this power user is searching if i write power user 1 look at this no matching role is found but if we do need another button for resetting or reloading data again to this data grid view so i'll go there and i'll use another separator over here and i'll refresh records and if i double click we have already created this function in the previous video i'll call it again done if you click again and if you click power user click on search and if you click on here look at this or uh, data grid view is again populated but when clicking refresh records this text box should be empty so after calling this function i'll set search text box dot clear and search text box dot 
focus okay so this is how you can perform uh, search operation on the table if you write power p o w e r click on search look at this no matching rule is found but we should use uh, an like operator so that matching records uh, will be returned to the front end so how to use that one go to your store procedure and we have already created this store procedure so we need to alter this one and instead of directly passing this one role id to the parameter we should use like operator so any matching rows like then single quote and after this i'll specify a percentage symbol and then specify plus and after this i'll specify a percentage again okay so this will uh, now look for matching record as well click on execute button and start your application again now this time if you write power click on search look at this power user is being displayed so we are also fetching the matching record and if you write admin over here not complete administrator look at this administrator is displaying refresh and we are getting our records back so this is how you can perform search operation in your desktop application so we have performed three operations we can now insert a new role we can view roles and we can perform search role operation so the only thing i'll do in this video is to do code for this one new role and in our upcoming videos we'll perform update and delete role functionality so view roles double click on this button over here and i'll specify roles form rf is equals to new roles form and simply rf dot show dialog and after this when the user enter two four role more i'll again call load data into data grid view function so that our data grid view uh, is automatically populated so if you click on there and simply call user limited access and save and if you close look at this our data grid view is populated and we're getting third role in the data grid view so thank you so much for watching we'll meet again in the next video where we will perform update operation thank you take care of yourself allah hafiz assalam alaikum